Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you three different techniques on how to storyboard and make it look really good. Now, something I need to tell you first is I am no artist by any means, but I'm going to show you three different styles. Um, I'll time code them at the bottom as well. Um, the three styles I'll show you is making your storyboards just out of a collection of photos and images to communicate your story. Um, we'll be doing this sort of sketchy based one. Again, I'm not an artist, I can't draw, but you can make you know really nice storyboards like this one here. Okay, I'll be showing you how to do that. And finally, I'll be showing you an extra technique whereby you can layer everything with different colors to show the depth in the shot, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive straight on into Photoshop. So if you've got Photoshop, you're already onto a good start. Um, I'm gonna go to New, we're just gonna create, recreate um, shot two in those three different styles, starting off with a photographic style, okay? So you need to decide what aspect ratio and resolution your windows are gonna be. I know that if I, when I shoot this and film this, it's gonna be HD, so I'm just gonna go with a HD panel, and I'm gonna click Create, all right? Now the first one we're gonna do, like I said, if we take a look back at this, is we're just gonna be combining it with photos. So I've got a photo of some ground, photo of an astronaut, there's actually a reflection in his um, helmet but there, and crowd in the background and a blue sky. So basically this, this is called photo bashing. So I've down, got a load of images um, from the web. So first of all, I'm gonna bring in my um, astronaut, um, hit enter when it loads, and I know that I first thing I need to do, let's just get rid of that, First thing I need to do is sort of scale them up to size and I need to get rid of that black background. You know, that's pretty easy with the magic wand tool, so something like that. I want him dead center. So I'm just gonna get the magic wand tool and hit this layer mask button, okay? And it's done the layer mask inverted, so just command I with that selected. We've got our man. I'm also gonna turn the background off as well. If I just double click that, then I can delete Click OK. I can delete layer zero, so that's, you know, we've only got this guy. So next, I think I want the ground. So if I go back into my folder, I've got this shot by here. Um, so let's first of all hit Enter, place this below him. Let's just move it on over to the side by here, and I'm going to scale up a little bit. Hit Enter. OK. Now what I'm going to do is turn my astronaut off, and I'm basically going to clean this up a little bit. So if I just get my lasso tool, I'm just going to lasso the bit which I want to keep, which is going to be this bit by here. I don't want any of the extra stuff in there. So if I just come down very quickly, and the term photo bashing is literally bashing photos together really, really quickly. So I've got that selected, hit the lay mask tool, and I've got this. So let's turn the guy back on. I think, the, I think we're going to scale our astronaut up a little bit, um, something like that. Um, and yeah, hit enter. Now, this background now, I want the horizon line to kind of be by about here. So I'm literally just going to draw across like that. And if I get my eraser tool, oh, if I go onto the layer mask actually by here, get my brush tool, and I'm just going to brush black, so the color black onto here to erase it, and you'll see up, updating by here, that's what your layer mask is doing. I have got other tutorials on layer masks if you need them as well. So, Command-D to deselect. I'm just gonna move this over to the side and scale it across, just like so. So what I've got is I've got my ground plane, and I've got my astronaut. I think actually this ground plane could be moved down a touch. Something like that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, next I wanna get this crowd in the background, because as he's walking up to the spaceship, we've got a big crowd cheering him on. Okay, so I've got this one image, which you can't see because it's behind my astronaut, so let me just hit enter and pull it above. You've got this one image, right? And I'm basically going to use the magic wand tool to get rid of the sky in the background. So magic wand, click here, shift click as I go around. You can turn the tolerance up if you want, but I'm just going to do a load of shift click in just to get, again, because they're going to be so small and it is just photo bashing, it really does not need to be perfect, guys, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm just going to get it as much as I can, just like this, keep on clicking, keep on clicking. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm more or less happy with that. Um, so now that we've done that, you've got the selection selected. With the layer selected, just hit the layer mask. So everything in black it gets rid of, everything in white it keeps. So that's done the opposite. So if we just click that and hit Control or Command I, it inverts it, so the white bit is what it keeps and the black is what it erases. And if you do want to tidy it up, you can get your brush 
and with that layer mask selected if I, see if i draw black across it it just paints out that bit so you can you can tidy those edges up with a smaller brush okay anyway i'm going to scale these down and let's put them there and essentially all i'm going to do now drag this layer down to the new layer icon shift and click to drag across shift click them both so i'm now duplicating them both and bring across like so and we've got four copies i think that's enough for that side because it goes up to his helmet and i'll put them behind him now so if i shift click the four bring the four down to the new layer icon and we've got four to bring across to this side okay so now if we put the astronaut layer above them he's now appearing in front so i'm going to select all my crowds shift select Control or command e and it'll basically flatten all them to one layer and i can go crowd okay and the final thing let me just check yeah the final thing is going to be in the background i'm going to get a blue get my paint bucket by here um yeah oh, paint bucket and just fill this with blue put it below okay so essentially if you're trying to communicate your idea to somebody this would work as a frame of a storyboard there is one thing i want to do is i want to i probably won't do it yet actually i'll do it in a later in a later step but what you could do if you were finishing here one thing you could do is get your blur tool brush and on your crowd because they're in the distance to show the camera is focused on him and not them you could start blurring these guys okay um I'm actually going to undo all those blurs because I need them in focus for the next step. So that is like your first kind of technique. Really, really simple. You just do it for each frame and then you can bang them into a template, draw your camera moves on top and put your text there. Second technique, we're going to be doing a sketchy kind of one. Again, I'm not an artist. It's really easy. You can probably see they're very similar to the photos. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, let's first of all just make sure that I've got this named correctly, otherwise we're going to be really confused. So Astro for Astronaut, I'm going to go Ground for, funnily enough, Ground. Um, I'm going to select my Astronaut, and you want to do these separately, okay? So I'm going to get my Astronaut, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to go to, where is it? It's Smart Blur. Okay, now this, this is like so handy, it makes you look like a, a real artist. And trust me, I can't draw a stick man. What you want to do when you're in here is mode. You want to go to edge only. And you can see the kind of thing that's happening. If we zoom out to about 50% or let's zoom out to 33%, something like that. Yeah. Basically, it's taking these edges and these details and just make, turn them into white lines. So you can basically increase the radius, increase the threshold. Okay. And basically what I do is if it's um, in any other shot, let's just show you by here, there's a shot with, in shot one, you can see there's a rocket next to this sort of scaffolding thing. Now there's loads of, there was loads of detail, just wait for it to load, yeah. There was loads of detail in that scaffolding. And so I had to basically play around with your radius and your threshold just to get the right balance on each, each part. So if I go something like that, I want a bit more detail. Uh, pull the threshold up a little bit. You can change the quality to high as well. That will help. Um, something like that. You can tell us an astronaut an astronaut suit. Click OK. And it'll apply your smart blur now. And you can pretend to everyone that you're a real artist because uh, that's what I do most of the time. So I'm going to do very, very quickly. Same now. Blur. Smart blur. Where is it? Um, to the crowd in the background. Where are my crowd? Ah, here you are. Right, you can see the settings there. They're far too intense for the crowd, so that's why you have to do each element differently. So I'm going to push the threshold up. So yeah, just get something like that. Okay, click OK, and the crowd is done. Now, if we do it to the ground, you get a funny kind of um, response with the ground. So if you go filter, um, blur, and smart blur, you end up getting just like these these little dots and no matter what you do with a threshold and stuff it, it just it looks terrible so i don't tend to do that what i do is i make a new layer above um, i get my rectangle tool just like this and i'm gonna get just a gray sort of dark gray for the ground just paint that in okay and then same for the sky you could leave the sky as it is if you want but because everything tends to be everything else is grayscale, I just get a really light gray, go onto the sky layer and paint in the sky. 
Okay, and just like that, let's just paint in this little bit by here. And just like that, you've got a really, really nice looking frame. When you put it all together, like I said, no, not that one. You can just draw your little camera moves on top, type in, and it works for every single shot. Just make sure you do elements separately, okay? Like I said, this scaffolding, there's loads of detail in there. So you need to do each de detail separately. Now the third technique I'm going to show you is how to colour code this to separate your elements, okay? So what I'm going to do, I've got my astronaut. I'm just going to flatten him, okay? So I'm going to put, place a new layer above the astronaut. Control select the bottom one and click Control E, okay? Um, I did that because if I go back, it's, it's got all these filters on it and, and this layer mask. So blank layer above, select both of them with Shift. Command or Control E it flattens them, so we've just got that now. We don't have to worry about anything. I'll do the same with the ground. Shift select them both, new layer above, Control E. Okay, now let's rename everything. So we've got ground and we've got... Ah, that's also our ground from last time, isn't it? Um, so let's just delete that one for now. So we've got ground, sky, crowd, and we've got astro, astronaut. Cool. So what we want to do is we want to pick a different colour for your sky, crowd, your ground, and your astronaut, just to show some separation. It's pretty clear in this shot, but when you've got a shot such as, when you've got a shot which has got kind of, you know, loads of stuff, quite a few things going on, and it's got more detail, like in this one as well. If these if these astronauts on the ground in this module by here were in different colours, your eye could get quite lost. Okay, so I'm going to say my astronaut's going to be yellow. What you can do, select new layer, come to your astronaut, right click and go to select pixels. What this will do is it'll put a selection around your astronaut. Make sure you go to the layer above now. So we've made a new layer go to the astro layer, right click the thumbnail, select pixels, go back to this one, get a brush, yellow, paint it in, and literally um, I'm just going to bring this down to like 50%, he's done. Your crowd, new layer above, come back to the crowd, right click, select pixels, come to your layer 3, the crowd are going to be purple, and then you can bring the opacity down. And with with the ground, because it's one solid colour, what I might just do is select the pixels on that itself and make the ground, for example, just a different, like, orange. Um, no, you don't really have to. You've already got them as two separate colours. But basically, that's how you do it, all right? So I've shown you three different techniques. The first technique was this photographic um, way. Then we built on that with the sketch, sketchy look, and then we built on that with some more layered stuff. All I did then is I saved out each of my frames. I got a blank frame storyboard, brought each of them in, scaled them down, drew my camera moves on top, annotated them, and then you got a world-class storyboard there. If you don't like the coloured version, we can go for this, this black and white one, you know, or you can just stick with the photographic one. But hopefully that's shown you a few different ways. Remember, you don't need to be an artist. Um, if you liked the video and found it helpful, give a comment and like, subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and I will hopefully see you soon.